it's Vanda and I'm coming back to you with another Ink Flight unboxing. We have a small box today and um, yeah, some some really pretty um, like summery, uh, like kind of neon sort of um, things going on here on um, the Ink Journal stamp. So very exciting. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into this Ink Flight and getting it swatched. So that's uh, what we're going to do. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible. I'm just now getting home from work and I don't I don't know how long I will actually have to do this. So I want to get it done as quickly as possible because I really don't want to wait. I could record this tomorrow, but it's the ink flight. I have to open it as soon as it comes in. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna open it. I have no idea what's in it. It's a small box, so the goodie or whatever is in here is going to be small. Um, so let's see what we've got here. We have, oh, we have all kinds of goodies today. Okay, so I'm not going to show all the things. I don't know what you saw, um, but yeah, we're going to take a look at, um, our stuff here. We're going to look at the inks first, and then I'm going to show you, uh, the goodie. Um, yeah, oh, this is kind of a... This is fun. Okay, so our ink brand for today, for this month, is Graphon Faber Castell. So we have some really um, lovely offerings from Graphon Faber Castell. I have had a few samples of their inks, and um, also have I think I have two bottles of ink. Um, and actually, I have two two of the bottles that I have are um, in this ink white. So we have uh, Graphon Faber Castell Violet Blue. Yozukura, which is one of the ones I have a bottle of. Stone Gray, which is the other one I have a bottle of. Gulf Blue. Garnet Red, which is actually one that I haven't tried yet, but I've been wanting to try. Viper Green, this is another one that I've been wanting to try. Burned Orange, I think I might have had a sample of this one. I feel like I have, but I know that I've gotten a couple different oranges from Pen Friends that are like orange or burned orange. Obviously there's the Robert Oster um, burnt orange from Casey and I feel like pen friend Robert also sent me a I think it was a Karen Dash and I think it was electric orange. Does that sound right? I could pull I'm not gonna pull the ring up but um yeah so we're gonna swatch these inks and then our goodie. Our goodie this month is a really good it's a really good goodie. Um so yeah so um Cool. So let's go ahead and we will get swatching. As always, I have my coloring cards and I have just enough plus like maybe a few extra to do this month's ink flight. I really need to order some more. And then uh, my glass dip pen, which is the Moon Man N6. Um, this is a glass dip pen. I purchased mine from eBay, but now Jet Pens is selling them. They were in stock as of my last video. Um, I don't know what their stock currently is, but um, you can get it from Jet Pens if you don't want to get it from eBay. And um, yeah, so I'm going to I'm going to do it in order um, on Ink Flight. So we're going to just go ahead and organize these real fast. Gray, granite red, and violet blue. Okay, I feel like I have purchased a sample of this one, but I don't think I've used it other than swatching it, so. Okay. Oh, and my paintbrushes are random paintbrushes that I purchased from Michaels, so. Faber-Castell is not only uh, one of the oldest pen brands. Um, actually, we also had some uh, Graphon Faber Castell inks in the April ink flight, so it's exciting that we get to use uh, some more colors. Um, I think what was it? it was olivine or olive green. Do I have my ink flight here? I don't. Shoot. I just had an ink or a thing fall off the table, and I think it was that one. Um, but you've seen a link. A link up. Oops. I will link up in the corner up here the uh, April ink flight because you have seen. I'll do the reveal. My camera thing just doesn't want to like stay. Stay. 
Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. We've seen cognac and olive green from this brand before in an ink flight. And I'm sure that I have also swatched the inks. So. so we have our coloring cards. We have, where's my dip pen? It's right here. We are going to start with, actually I should say, um, Gra uh, Faber-Castell is not only one of the oldest pen brands, it is also one of the oldest industrial companies in the world. Founded in 1761 by the cabinet maker Casper Faber, 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 Castell, Faber. The company is now run by the eighth generation family member Count Anton Wolfgang von Faber-Castell. The Graf von Faber-Castell collection is renowned for its premium quality and high performance. These indelible dye-based inks are water resistant, smear resistant, and light fast. And I know from experience that Yozakura and Stone Gray are um, resistant to water, so that's exciting. I didn't realize like the whole wine was, so that's awesome. I have used um, their electric pink, and there's maybe one or two other colors that I've used. Um, there's like, a, I think they have a pretty moss green that I may have gotten a sample of at some point. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this Yozakura even though I have it already because I like to keep, I really like to keep track of my ink flights and what I get in them, so really this is just for me. Plus you get to see it live in the video. Ink flight, I believe this is 54, but I never remember the number until I'm making the thumbnail of the video. So this is July 21. This is a graph. On Faber Castell. Use a quarter. Zoom in a little bit so you can actually see it. Um, you have seen this swatched on my channel if you have seen that video. Um, I know that Creepy Nibs has also played with it. I can't remember if it was in a video or not. Um, I think Chris had a sample, well I know Chris has a sample of it because I sent her a sample of it, but I think she said it was too light for her, which I'm not surprised, it's actually a pretty, um, um, it's a pretty pale ink, but it's gorgeous. It's just a really delicate color. Very pretty, very, very pretty. Now the swatch is usually pretty light, but the writing is not so bad, like especially out of like an actual pen. I um, actually quite enjoy this color a, a lot. Next up we have Burned Orange. I swear I've sampled this one before, but like I said, I could be getting it mixed up with um, other oranges that I've been um, sent samples of or have ordered myself. So, Ink Flight 721. doesn't really look burned to me, but it is a nice, um, vibrant sort of reddish orange, in my opinion. Burned orange to me usually seems like it has some, like, brown or some black in it that kind of gives it, like, a little bit of an edge. And this is just, this is just a nice... It seems too vibrant to be burned, but I love it. Anyway, I guess it could be the flame, like the color of a, of a flame, but I feel like it's too bright and cheery to be burned orange. I would have maybe just named this orange or like, I don't know, citrus or I don't know, something. But it's very pretty. <laughs> you 
and the description for this one is this bold orange has ample shading and a juicy flow next up we have viper green this looks like it's actually a pretty bright green but we'll see boost your creativity with this fresh shading ink Here's what it looks like in the cap. I have had like a Van Ness cart, like I keep going in, because Van Ness's carts don't save. Um, at least in my experience they don't. If there's a trick to doing that, let me know, but I don't think that they do. Um, but uh, I keep going into Van Ness, their website, and loading up a cart filled with samples, and then I just like walk away. And this, uh, I think, do they sell, I think, I think this ink was in one of my, uh, shopping cart wish lists. I actually can't remember. I think they do sell the Graphon Fabric Castell. I think that's where I bought one of my inks from. Graphon. Castell. This is a weird angle. Viper green. This is a nice green. very pretty gorgeous beautimus beautimus beauty beautimus I feel like you might want to add a little more green to this one, but maybe not. I'm just going to leave it. Very pretty. Alright, next up we have Gulf Blue. Float on a sea of tranquil thoughts with this light blue ink, including violet undertones. Oops. Oh, no, come here. Oh, crap. The cap fell on the floor. I'm going to have to get that. But first, first we swatch. Another one of those like sky or sea blues. Okay, of course it bounced away as far as humanly possible, <laughs> but we're good now. A pretty blue blue. It doesn't really seem like this is um, like very turquoisey. It's just like a clear, it's like one of those clear sort of blues. Very nice if you're a fan of this sort of muted blue. I expected it to be a little more turquoisey. I'm not going to lie, but this is actually really nice. <laughs> Next up, we have a stone gray. If you watch Chris Signs, you're very, very, very familiar with this um, ink. This is one of her absolute favorite inks. And also, let's zoom out a little bit. Um, also, um, I know that uh, Creepy Nibs has also used it quite a bit. It's 
a really nice gray from my own, my also my own, um, from my own work with it. I hate my G. Just a nice gray gray. I think it does have some purple in it. A little bit, a little bit of purple in it maybe. But yeah, it's very nice. super pretty if you like grays if you don't like grays you might not enjoy it I don't know what to tell you but it's actually a nice one so maybe if you don't typically like grays you might like that one I don't know all right oh and what does the description say this classy medium tone gray is a good option for a conservative workplace environment yep next up we have garnet red which um, their note says, fall in love with this rich, with the rich purplish red hues of the sensual ink. Okay. Okay. It looks sort of black in the cap. I'm getting a phone call. You're gonna have to wait, I'm almost done. Ooh. That's nice. I like that very much. It's kind of sort of like a, it's more of like a burgundy red in my opinion. Oops. Then maybe a, um, then like a true red. Definitely very jewel toned, very nice. Oh, that's pretty. That's stunning. That's gorgeous. Faber Castell Violet Blue, which is a pretty purple. Definitely sort of a bluish purple. Let's get it swatched, see what we think. I just like went right over my text, but that's okay. It's more muted than I thought it would be. That's interesting. I expected it to be a little darker for some reason. It's very pretty though. Okay, so we're gonna let this dry. And we're gonna take a look at our goodie. Our goodie, this is every once in a while, like every once in a while we get a notebook, every once in a while we get 
other little stationary goodies. But every once in a while, like maybe a couple times a year, we get a pen. And today, today we have gotten a Pilot Kakuno. And I don't know if they come with all kinds of different sizes, but the one that I received is a clear one and it's a medium. So let's take a look at our, um, our things here. So at first, the Pilot Kakuno may seem like a ch children's fountain pen. True, the packaging does state that the Kakuno is simply the best choice for your first fountain pen, but you'll be surprised by how just how fun and well-made this Pilot pen is. The completely clear demonstrator barrel and clipless cap allow the writer to see the inner workings of the fountain pen. Um, it uses the Pilot prop proprietary fountain pen cartridges, ones included, and um, in the box or bottled inks using the con 40 converter the con 40 can be a little tricky to fill you may have to employ a, a syringe to fill it up all the way pilot takes great care in producing quality pens no matter the price level blah de, blah de, blah to help appeal to kids or the young heart the uh, kakuna's nib has a whimsical smiley face yep Oh, so, oh, there is a sticker this month's sticker is a commission designed from our friend and illustrator and fountain pen enthusiast Oh, I don't want to say his name incorrectly, so that's that's his name right there. Is it Thales, maybe? Medeiros? Um, I do follow him on Instagram. A symbol for American patriotism, the bald eagle grasps the American-made Edison fountain pen. So there you go, that's our sticker. For 4th of July, America's birthday month. What would you do with an extra day off during the week? Honestly, play with pen stuff. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's very cool. And um, also, um, Ink Flight uh, was kind enough to include a converter with the pen. And then, um, yeah. So I don't know if everybody got a medium nib or if they just um, had different nib sizes, but I'm happy with the medium. In this type of pen, the medium is my favorite size. Per pearl. Are you scratching? Don't scratch the chair. this with the cap. I actually have um, the fancy one that has some like art in it. The Deco Kakuno that I got from Sugary Inks. Um, but I don't have a, a plain clear one. And if you fill there's holes here. If you fill those holes, supposedly you can eyedropper this pen, but I probably wouldn't do that. Um, I do want to ink this up, but I don't have a clean syringe nearby. So I think we're just going to have to... I guess I can dip it. I'll dip the pen. And we'll dip it in, um, what should we dip it in? Should we dip it in, let's dip it in the Viper Green. Because why not? We're just going to dip it. And this is what the nib looks like. I don't want to spill the, it's a little, it's a little stick out your tongue smiley face. So cute. Okay, just do a quick little writing sample. Okay, so this is, let's zoom in. This is the Pilot Kakuno with the medium nib. And this is Raffon Fabber Castell Viper Green. Lovely standard uh, pilot. Oops. Oh my god, my thing is like being a ridiculous. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, it's just the um, normal offerings if you have a pilot prayer or a metropolitan um this is the same nib it just has the cute little smiley face on it so yeah and you can see dipping the nib actually does saturate the feet a little bit so that's exciting so i'm gonna have to clean the pen although it looks like oh no it's in there i was gonna say it looks like maybe i need to push the nib in but it's fine so yeah, and this pen does have a little bit of a triangular grip, so if you don't like it, I don't think it like forces, it's it's not as forceful as like a Lamy, but it is, it is there. Zoom back out. So 
yeah so awesome thank you ink flight or ink journal for another super fun ink flight um i am gonna dip this see what happens i'm gonna have to like wash wash the pen now but this will take over for now and this is what it looks like all capped up it would typically have the converter of the cartridge in it but i will um you'll probably see this in my current linked video coming up soon um, yeah, and also the Kaveco clip, which if this one will come off, I don't think the fancy one fits, but this, um, the not fancy one, if I can get it off of here, this one's like pretty well stuck on. And I don't have my other Kakuno, but anyway, this clip here will fit on the Kakuno. Do I have another Kaveco sitting here? I do not. I do not, but um, yeah, I like got this one on there pretty good. It was a pretty tight clip to put on there, and so now it's an even tight clip to get off of here. But uh, yeah, but it will fit. So if you don't like not having a clip, you can get a clip like this and stick it on there. And then this, um, it actually like kind of like stay, it's like pretty uh, level. I don't know where my Kakuno is, so I can't show it to you, but. Um, I'm sure that you've seen it in a video before, but it actually stays pretty level. It kind of bounces up, but you can like push it down. Um, but yeah, so anyway, if you do prefer having a clip on your pen and you don't like the clipless, you can get uh, one of these Kaveco clips. And I think these plain ones are like $3 instead of like s the fancy ones that are $6. Um, but yeah, if you, yeah, if you are somebody who needs a clip, that is an option. And I learned, I learned that from Creepy Nibs, to be honest. Um, it takes like a little bit of a push to push it over, but once it's on, it's good. So, yeah. So awesome. So thank you again, Ink Journal, for a wonderful ink flight. We have our samples. We should probably look at our sample cards now that they're dry. Um, before everybody who lives here gets home. So we have Yozakura, which is this lovely, um, pastel pink. Let's zoom in a little bit. Um, then we had burned orange, which is this beautiful orange color, kind of a reddish orange. And then we had a viper green, which is the green we just used to write with. And then we had gulf blue. Oh, I see the violet undertones where I kind of uh, plastered the ink on a little bit. There is an in the scribble here too. I, I hope that you can see it. There is some violet. So yeah, very nice. Um, then we had stone gray, which is actually, oh, it's still a little wet. This got, it had a lot of ink on it, but stone gray, beautimous. We will zoom out. And then, um, was it garnet red? Yes, garnet red, which I think, honestly, these two together look so pretty. And then we had um, the violet blue which seems to have a little bit of blue undertones in it. So they're kind of like opposites. <laughs> but yeah, so there's our um, inky little rainbow. So again, for the, like the third or fourth time, thank you again, Ink Journal, for another super fun ink flight. And I am looking forward to using this pen. Oops, let me flip that around. Um, using this pen. And, um, oh, and our sticker. Don't forget our sticker. Awesome. So thank you again so much. I hope that you enjoyed this ink flight. And I will talk to you again very soon. Take care. Love you, bye.